Hi everyone, Rebecca Elliott. I'm here to visit with you today about Young Living Essential Oils, give you a nice overview about them, and hopefully this information will be very helpful to you. Um, if you're not already using the Young Living Essential Oils, hopefully it will help you see the real value uh, and why Young Living. Um, so let's get started and um, I hope you enjoy the presentation. Um, start first with my own story of being introduced to Young Living. I was introduced two years ago. At that time in my life, I was working crazy hours, uh, working mom, um, so crazy busy at work, and then coming home, taking care of the house, helping my, run my son around, all the school activities that he had um, at the time, and I was just dragging. I was exhausted, um, getting pretty unmotivated all the way around because I was so tired. I was not feeling well. My body was just screaming for rest and uh, just overall better healthier lifestyle. Um, and I didn't even know where to start. I knew I needed to change our food. I didn't even know about the essential oils and, and the world of natural wellness to that degree. I just, so all I knew was about maybe changing the food. Um, I went to a doctor uh, when I needed to because I injured my foot. And oh my goodness, what grace of God to have been sent to him. Uh, he introduced me to Young Living and started get, gave me a good orientation about the natural wellness lifestyle, a holistic view of that. And um, when he opened that door, I ran through it and have never looked back. Um, and now I'm very, very passionate about sharing with others because I'm so grateful that I was introduced to this. Um, so uh, now, two years later, life is so different. Um, my whole family, we're eating better. Uh, so of all the things that we've learned um, from Young Living, uh, the natural wellness uh, workshops that they have, there's wonderful education. So I've been like a sponge and learned as much as I possibly can and will continue to do that the rest of my life probably. Um, but uh, now I have so much more vitality and energy and motivated uh, just a world of difference, night and day, from what it used to be for me. And I see those kinds of improvements in my family as well. So uh, it's just been an amazing journey and one that I enjoy every single day. I have brought essential oils into our daily lives in every way possible, and it has just been wonderful. So hopefully you would have the exact same experience if you opted to um, take on adapting to a natural wellness lifestyle and get tremendous awards for it health-wise, uh, friends-wise, people that we've met are just amazing. Um, so let's go on with what are essential oils. Essential oils are the life essence of plants. They, you can get essential oils from trees, plants, shrubs, flowers, uh, bushes, fruit, the rinds of the fruit, and I'll talk about that a little more in a little bit, resins and herbs. Um, and they consist of a hundred different natural organic compounds that you can find within all the plants. Just amazing. In humans, they provide support for every system in our body, our skeletal system, our muscular system, circulatory, endocrine, and hormone system, our respiratory system, and our immune system. So it helps with supporting our hormones, our brain health, maintaining our weight, or even losing weight. Uh, helping support our emotions, also supporting our spiritual time um, by the, the environment that they can create for us. They help us be more connected and self-reflective in our quiet spiritual time. They just help with overall support and certainly also help with uh, relieving stress from our lives. There are three ways that you can use the oils, and I'll go into that in depth in a minute, um, but one of them is aromatic. I have oils being diffused throughout our house all the time and it is just wonderful the house smells so fresh clean but not only the aroma it's also very therapeutic for us so we're enjoying it every way that you possibly can an oil diffuser can help relieve a stressful day for you or for your child um, just for work or school, it doesn't really matter. But it also, if you're using them um, to replace your chemical laden uh, household cleaners, you can also help detox your house and create such a healthier 
uh, chemical-free environment. So you won't be touching them, you won't be smelling them. And this is true for you, your children, crawling children on the floor, or pets. Um, or if you're walking around barefoot, we're absorbing all those chemicals through our feet. And our feet have some of the largest pores in our body. So that's not where you wanna be getting them. <laughs> so what you want there are oils and not chemicals. And you don't have to be an aromatherapist to use the oils. So don't feel like you need to be an expert and have the full rounded knowledge of information about the oils before you start using them. Start using them. Just have the right information and some guidance to, you know, to um, have some of the, the most essential information that you need to have. Um, and, and you're ready, just off and running. Start experiencing them and you will learn how your body responds to the oils. There are about 300 oils on the earth, but you only need 10 to 20 to build a nice foundational collection that you will go to time and time again. So those are the ones that you're going to want to have on hand all the time. And I mentioned on applying the oils. Diffuser is definitely one, one way to do it. And that way you're breathing them in. Uh, so effective, so quick to be able to have them circulating through throughout your body. And in fact, how do they enter? Well, in the case of breathing them, you're, you're, you're breathing them right in through your olfactory system. They last a long time as well. So tests have shown that oils reach your heart, your liver, and thyroid in three seconds and when they're inhaled. And then they're found in your bloodstream in 26 seconds when they're applied topically. Expulsion of the essential oils takes three to six hours in a normal healthy body. Let me just mention that there are three different schools of thought on how to use the oils besides breathing them in. So they're, they're, I'm just going to touch on them. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But the English apply them topically, rubbing them on their skin. The French ingest them. The Germans diffuse and inhale them, which can be the most effective method because it doesn't have to pass through our digestive system to get fully circulated throughout our body. Again, and how do they enter? Tests have shown that oils reach the heart, the liver, the thyroid in three seconds when inhaled. They're found in the bloodstream in 26 seconds when applied topically. And they last six or more hours in, um, in most cases. So let me tell you a little bit about the essential oils history. They're first mentioned in the Bible in Genesis in chapter 37 when Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They, the slave traders carried spice, balm, and myrrh. Genesis ends with the burial of Joseph's father, who was anointed with myrrh. Oils were mentioned 1,100 times in the Bible overall, um, directly or indirectly in Scripture. Sometimes they're mentioned as spices, balms, aromas, perfumes. But all of those references are to essential oils. Some of the oldest cultures on earth have used essential oils uh, throughout decades and centuries. The Babylonians placed orders for cedarwood, myrrh, and cypress. The Egyptians used essential oils for beauty and embalming. And they have the oldest recording of a deodorant recipe made from essential oils. Pakistan and Rome used essential oils in communal bathhouses. They were even used by Christ. Jesus was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh upon his birth and went all the way to the crucifixion where essential oils were offered to him even when he was on the cross. And frankincense is sometimes referenced as the coconut oil of essential oils um, because it has over 10,000 uses. Essential oils were used by medieval Europeans many of whom brought oils back from the Crusades. It was only during World War II when essential oils were rediscovered and the science of their uses grows every single year. So let me talk about do essential oils work and to show you a little bit about the different grades of oils. Grade A therapeutic is made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Grade B oils are food grade that may contain synthetics, pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, and or carrier oils. Grade C are perfume oils that often contain adulterated chemicals. They usually use solvents, for example, hexane, 
um, to gain a higher yield of oil per harvest. Solvents can cause cancer and are in many store-bought oils. They also may be diluted 80 to 95 percent with alcohol. So, and then we get to grade D, that's floral water which is aromatic only, and it uses it as a byproduct of the distillation from the grade A essential oils. After all the oil is pulled out, the leftover trash water is sold to companies, which will fill 5% of the bottle with this leftover trash water, and to fill the rest with carrier oils, and then label it pure. Grade A is the only true pure oil. Grade D would be like walking into the fridge, taking a glass of orange juice, diluting it 95% and expecting to get the full value of, orange, of the orange juice. Uh, no, not going to happen. It wouldn't have all those benefits. That's why you want grade A oils. Before you purchase, check to see if the company uh, grows their own plants, owns their own fields, and controls the entire process from the seed to seal from the farm to the sealed bottle. Pesticides, pollution, previously farmed land, all of it can affect the quality of the oil. Young Living's oils are grade A. Why would you go to this extra step to get away from a chemical only to use it, use other things that are oils in, uh, laden with chemicals? It just makes no sense. One of the things that stands out to me about Young Living's uh, seed to seal process is its promise of integrity and purity and potency. Gary Young has said that he never makes an oil for profit. He makes an oil for purpose. Seed to seal means each plant is hand weeded. There are no pesticides used, no chemicals and no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak, and this is done with scientific <laughs> uh, accuracy. They then put them through vigorous testing um, to test the whole process and test the quality. And they also have third parties uh, double check their internal testing as well. Uh, so full integrity throughout the whole process. Seed to seal is not a slogan, it's a promise. You can learn more by checking out the Young Living story and fall in love with the company as I have at seedtoseal.com. Definitely worth taking a look. It's great education. And they go through the in-depth, uh, a little more in-depth of all five steps of the seed to seal process. Why do companies sell oils more cheaply? Well, it's all about money, to save money. If you spray your crop with pesticides, you have more crop to distill. If you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you pull more out. If you dilute it with a cheaper uh, oil, or carrier oil, you stretch the oil that you've distilled, most essential oils are sold more cheaply just because companies are cutting corners. So very, very important to know. You may be wondering how are oils made, and there's some differences, there's uh, some different ways that takes place, so let me share with you about that. But there's two distillation methods, one is uh, heat with steam distillation, the other one is cold pressing. The cold pressing is used for citrus oils uh, because they take the rind of citrus fruits and uh, cold press that to get the oils, not the meaty pulpy part. Uh, but here's some neat statistics for you just to really give you an idea of the love and time and resources that go into making our wonderful essential oils. 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce of rose oil. Lavender is more abundant with 220 pounds providing seven pounds of oil. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun comes, hot, comes out too hot the very first day they open, thus making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes eight million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. A sandalwood tree must be 30 years old and 30 feet high before it can be cut down for harvesting and to be distilled. A little bit goes a long way. Most oils are 10 to $30 a bottle on average. A five milliliter bottle contains 90 drops of oil and a 15 milliliter bottle contains about 250 drops. Each application is one to three drops, meaning even with a small bottle, we get 45 to 90 applications. Thieves Cleaner is made of plants only and costs about $1.50 a bottle to make. 
you can't get that even in the organic section of the grocery store. And it certainly replaces a multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, and floor cleaner. The organic versions of these can run you up to $4.50 a bottle. Are they safe? So important to understand uh, the differences so that that can be answered with accuracy. Uh, so I'm only going to speak again, I'm only speaking about Young Living essential oils because that's what I know best. Um, so let me be clear on that. But given that they are used as instructed on the bottle um, and also in credible reference documents and materials and books so that you have that as your guide, yes, they are safe. Certain oils, again, there's some good things that you need to know, or important things you need to know. So, for example, certain oils ha are photosensitive, uh, meaning that where the sun shines on your skin, they're going to emphasize that sunlight and the penetration. Um, so important there, wear those oils where the sun doesn't shine. Um, another one is spiciness. Um, some oils are spicy, such as oregano, cinnamon, um, <clears throat> and with those, what you do, uh, you know in advance about them or do skin tests because you may have more sensitivity. Um, everyone's different about that. Um, and so you just do a little safe skin test and you have your carry oil handy. If you need to dilute a little bit to take the spiciness out, there you go. That's all that you need to do. So armed with the right knowledge on how to use these oils, you are good to use them safely. When using the oils on the skin, uh, do skin tests and you'll be good. Use the carrier oils and you'll be good. Another good thing to know is what is a carrier oil? A carrier oil is the fatty oil such as a coconut oil or olive oil, you can pull that fruit from the tree and the tree is still alive. Um, but it has a very important complementary place in, in the world with essential oils. So why a carrier oil? It helps an essential oil go further. If you're gonna use it for like a massage instead of just a targeted spot on your body, it helps slow down the absorption because the oils, essential oils are micro small molecules and they have to ping pong through the fatter, larger molecules and the carrier oils. Uh, and so that helps slow down the absorption that way. Another good thing to know is how to use the oils. Another good thing to know is um, having to use the oils around your eyes. Very important because some of the oils, even just the aroma alone, will make your eyes water, but others are quite spicy, so you sure don't want to get them in your eyes. But what you do is keep them close to the temples. If you're using oils that way, you can put them on a little bit of a cotton ball and, and apply them uh, so that you're not having the bottle anywhere near you or uh, applied to your fingertip and very carefully targeting where you're going to place them. And then you'll be all good. It's very easy to know what to do uh, should you accidentally get essential oils in your eyes. Somehow, if you accidentally touch your finger after you've been using essential oils and it's not completely absorbed yet, to be able to remove any essential oil from your eyes, you do not, you do not use water. You use carrier oil. So you would use it on the tip of your finger and, and just rub it on the skin just to the outside corner of your eye and that will draw the essential oil to the carrier oil for you. And then you'll be all good to go. Three or four minutes, everything's all back to good. So think about it. What about internal usage of essential oils? NAHA, one of the top aromatherapy schools in the United States, doesn't advocate essential oils for internal use. Why? Most oil companies don't carry any GRAS, which is G-R-A-S, stands for Generally Regarded as Safe Essential Oils, which have been cleared by the FDA. NAHA has also basis of a lot of their information based on the decisions of the British model for which there are flaws and how they're using them and how they uh, test them and so on. Young Living uses oils every way that, that we've talked about, aromatically, topically, and internally. So that's the important thing to know. And there are good, there's good information on the bottles and there's certainly good information and credible reference materials that help you know which ones to take and use the right way. So very important to know. On the flip side, look at the ingredient list that you have of products in your bathroom and your kitchen. 
every day we put products in our on our skin and our body and we breathe them but many of these products contain damaging chemicals the average woman applies 300 chemicals a day and at least 80 of those are applied even before breakfast so think about that from what we use in our soaps our makeup our shampoos hair care products our deodorants oh my goodness our deodorants don't even get me started about that one um, but we're using in the deodorants, I will say, in the deodorants, many of them have unwanted metals such as aluminum in there, and they have hormone disrupting ingredients. And here we are rubbing them on our underarms, right over our lymph nodes and near our breast tissue, men and women, every single day. So think about that one the next time you start to pull out your commercial bottle and start reading the ingredients of what's in there. When you use uh, Young Living essential, Single Essential Oils, you're getting a product with one ingredient. Lemon oil, you're getting oil from lemons. Oregano, from the oregano plant. Tangerine oil is from the tangerine. No additives, no chemical yuck. This is all maybe a bit overwhelming, but let me tell you how I started my oils. Um, again, I knew nothing about them two years ago. I've had a blast learning about them through information that I've uh, gathered on my own, uh, from information that's been shared, from hearing experts, doctors of all kinds talking about it, um, just learned a ton and feeling very confident in how I use my oils and know that I have the right tools right at my fingertips to do a good job of doing my homework and empowering myself to know how to use my oils with confidence. So let's talk about where to start. So I'm going to talk about some of the oils, um, all of which I love. These are the ones that are found in the starter kit um, that's available to young from Young Living. And it's an awesome, awesome tool for us to help us really get started fast tracking on our journey and have all the right tools. So as I mentioned earlier, two years ago, I didn't know all about this. Um, now I use them every way possible. Uh, they're great for detoxing and oxygenating your body, boosting your immune system, soothing cuts, bruises, bumps, uh, aches, diffusing during the day to create a, a, a calm, peaceful environment, and at night to help me relax and kind of shut my brain down so that I can sleep very, very thoroughly and be ready to bounce out of bed all refreshed and ready for the next day. Um, that's how I love using my oils, but I don't use them just for myself. I use them for my four-legged family members, too. So I'm planning to do a whole class on a whole different presentation on how you can use your oils for your, for your animals, both large and small. I think it's very important that we share the love with them as well. So now we get to the fun part. I'm getting familiar with the 11 of the foundational oils that are in the starter kit uh, with frankincense. Frankincense is one of the top skin oils. It helps smooth the appearance of your skin. It's a key ingredient in Young Living's brain power, which is awesome, um, which is an essential uh, oil blend. Um, you can diffuse it during prayer time to help you with ground, just grounding and purpose. I love using it um, in the mornings. Um, that's one of the ones that I have in an inhaler that I just breathe in and completely fill my lungs up with just to help me just be really ready for the day and just help him boost my energy and kind of my grounding peace uh, all at the same time and have me very centered and ready to, to focus on the day, the day priorities. Lavender. Lavender is an oil that is the oil of relaxation. It's called the Swiss Army Knife by many because it has myriad uses just as does the frankincense. It is wonderful to just fuse for calming, soothing aroma or to unwind by adding a few drops in your nighttime bath. One of the top oils that it's used to support healthy skin and just so many ways to use it. Uh, so again, when you start looking at reference materials about this oil, you will see just opportunity after opportunity how to, how to use it so many ways. Just such a wonderful but that one I like, I'll be sharing recipes with you as well, which you'll want to click the link at the bottom of this and that will be provided after the presentation to take you where you can get some of my recipes and how I'm using them that way. So I look forward to sharing 
the tips and, and recipes with you um, after this, this class presentation. And hopefully that will help you really jump start uh, integrating them into your lives when you see how easy it is. But let me keep going on the essential oils right now. So peppermint, oh my goodness, peppermint, peppermint. Neat thing on that is to know that one drop of peppermint, give you an idea on the concentration, is equal to 26 cups of, tea, of peppermint tea. So you, right there, hopefully that gives you an idea of how concentrated peppermint is. So one drop goes a very long way. And in fact, here's a tip for you. When you're cooking with uh, peppermint or oregano or thyme or any of the oils, better to use the oils by you inserting a toothpick uh, and getting what you need uh, that way and stirring that in and just taste test. But normally one drop is all you need for a whole pot of spaghetti or, or a whole mix of cake if you're making peppermint brownies, which, oh, so good. But peppermint supports the gastrointestinal comfort. It promotes healthy bowel function and enhances healthy gut function. It helps maintain efficiency of the whole digestive tract, and it also helps uh, support performance uh, during exercise. So a lot of people like to add that into their water just to help give them an extra kind of kicker um, as they're uh, exercising. Purification. Purification is one that I use all the time in so many different ways. It's used to when you diffuse it to freshen the air and eliminate odors, great for stinky shoes, put it in a spritzer bottle, spritz the shoes. Uh, you can add a carrier oil to it to help moisturize your skin um, or do a soothing massage on your feet that way. Um, again, you can also use it as a spray uh, to help enjoy an annoyance-free outdoor experience, which is awesome in Texas, where it is full of all kinds of things that you don't want fighting and enjoying your your tapping on your skin. Thieves. Thieves help support a healthy respiratory system and it helps us maintain overall wellness when we're taking it as a dietary supplement. You can add a drop to hot drinks which makes a nice a spicy zing to it because it has clove and cinnamon, uh, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus um, in this blend. Just wonderful, wonderful blend. It has everything, as I mentioned earlier, from household cleaners, dishwasher and uh, dishwashing, soaps and powders, all the way to things for our dental care, toothpaste, uh, floss, <laughs> you name it, uh, mouthwash. So great way to help detox your house and also detox your mouth, maybe. So, and it's all done naturally. So when we have the Thieves household cleaner in hand, it's time to say bye-bye to all your yucky chemical cleansers and cleaners and to detox your home, which can also smell wonderful. Stress Away promotes wellness, and it may be an important part of your daily health regimen. It's one of the top emotion oils, so wonderful in that, in that regard. Lemon's citrus flavor enhances the flavor of food or water. It's a great detoxer, so uh, gentle detoxer. So great to just put a couple drops of lemon um, or some of the other citrus oils in your water and it's just very refreshing. It's a key ingredient in the thieves and in Ninksha Red and it help may it may help your uh, boost and uh, support your immune system as well. So great one to have um, as as well in your um, in your toolkit, your in your essential oils toolkit. Copa Eba promotes overall wellness, supports nearly every system in our body, and it's also great for skin. So great to have the Copa Iba around. And the Panaway is great for after you've exercised and getting that extra zing from the peppermint to soothe your, uh, your muscles. It has a stimulating aroma, and you can apply it to your back or the back of your neck for a soothing aromatic experience, and it supports overall healthy skin coloration. Digize. Now, Digize is wonderful, and I've come to love the aroma, but it's the stinkiest of the oils. I'll just tell you straight up. In my opinion, it is. It has anise, uh, among other things, in it uh, of the oils that are in that blend, and uh, so it has a very strong smell, but I love it because it certainly serves its purpose of what it's intended for. So it's a top oil for supporting the digestive system. You can add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to water 
or stimulating beverage. And then you, or you can take it in a veggie cap internally if, if the taste is stronger than, than you want to have to deal with. RC. RC is a blend of uh, three different varieties of uh, eucalyptus, and it is a it has a lovely aroma to it, and then it's wonderful for supporting a healthy respiratory system, and you can diffuse that. It just, oh my goodness, it smells so good when it's diffused. You can rub it on your feet or on your chest, uh, and it encourages an atmosphere of comfort. But here's a tip for you with RC. If you put it on your chest, you can add um, a nice uh, warm wet compress and just lay it down over your chest just to help the RC penetrate deeper into your tissue. Wonderful, wonderful for doing that when you're when you're having respiratory uh, congestion, not feeling great. So let me share with you a few more things that I think are very important to you to know. So I've shared with you about the oils, what they are, how you use them, if they're safe, how they're made. So let me go back to why oils. And plain and simple, because you need them in your home. It's part of a simple, chemical-free lifestyle. It's just time to kick the chemicals to the curb. Only you control what you allow to cross your threshold of your home. You're the protector of your home. When you see what they will do for your body and begin to kick the chemicals out of the rooms in your home, it's impossible to walk into the home of your friends and family and not share what you know and what you're doing, especially when you see the ingredients list and the products that they're still using every day. Oh, my goodness. Some of the names you can't even pronounce. You share it because you love it. That's truly just straight from my heart. And you do that for starting with the people that you care for and that, that are in your everyday life because you want them to have a healthy life too. I am passionate about sharing because of what it's done for my life and how much I am enjoying having them as part of my life and making these wonderful positive changes and getting us chemical free and living a much healthier natural wellness lifestyle holistically from food to oils to activity, these are the life, the lifeblood, the three critical things in our, you know, that, that makes our life what it is. It's what we eat, it's how active we are, and what we're doing with our lives, and what we're putting on our skin and absorbing, and so on. So when you take care of yourself, you can fully do what God created you um, to do. So so important. Where do you begin? Well, I've already highlighted for you. I've already highlighted for you um, the oils, the eleven oils that are in the Young Living Starter Kit. Um, it's the only thing, the Starter Kit is the only thing in Young Living site that's half off. So, as a frugal mom, that's super good news. I certainly would be happy to start there and was, and love sharing that with others. Um, it has a diffuser in it. So besides the oils, you also get the diffuser. So you're literally getting 11 bottles of therapeutic grade oil for about $70, plus the diffuser, plus some samples, plus some uh, little sample bottles. So you're not having to carry around the big bottles in your purse all the time, plus some samples of the Ninxia Red. Oh my goodness, Ninxia Red's delicious. And it's a super antioxidant drink that is so good for our overall uh, wellness. So definitely worth looking at the Ninxia Red. The more I hear about Ninxia Red, the more I drink it. You can't even get them that cheap at the grocery store of the essential oils. Each bottle has 90 drops in it, as I mentioned earlier. So that's 90 applications if you're using one drop at a time. So as I mentioned, here are the other things that the kit includes. My goodness, having the diffuser in there along with the oils, you're all set to get started. It, every way that you need to use the oils, you would be able to with this kit. The Lifetime Wholesale Membership, you're getting 24% off for life. And every single order that you place after the kit is the 24% is the discount. You maintain a wholesale membership. You only have to spend $50 in a calendar year to get the oils that you select. And there is never a membership fee. That'd be like purchasing two bottles of the Thieves Cleaner a year. So how do you order? It's super simple. You order online and it's delivered to your door. So how do you get started from there? You go to youngliving.com. You become a member by clicking on become a member. 
Uh, it takes five minutes or so, maybe 10, to uh, fill out the information, set up your account, and you are set to go. Screen two lets you pick out your kit. Screen three adds you your mailing information. Screen four collects your payment information. Super simple, super fast. And then you are off and running. And welcome to Young Living. Ready to start your oil infused journey. What's coming? Here's a picture of all the things that I've been talking about so you know what it looks like. And again, why, why Young Living? To empower and educate those who are willing to watch God's creation work in their lives. And that was a quote by Diane London, but I love it. So I wanted to share that with you. So if you're interested and you have been, somebody has been talking to you about Young Living, you go back to whoever's been speaking with you about Young Living or invited you to take a look at this, this class today, this presentation, and let them know, I want my kit. <laughs> You are ready to start your oil-infused natural wellness journey, and I want my kit. And your, um, your friend in Young Living will, I'm sure, be delighted to help you set up your account and get started on your wonderful journey. If you have not been speaking to somebody about Young Living and don't have that contact, feel free to use my number where you need to put in a member's number as your enroller and your sponsor. I would be delighted to help you have a wonderful experience getting started with your oils and getting confident in using your oils, I'd be happy to take that role for you and walk the journey with you. My member number is 290-6315. So I think that kind of wraps up everything that uh, it's good to start with. I don't want to overwhelm you. I could talk about this for hours, but I'm going to stop here. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me at Rebecca at nbyl-livegreen.com or go to the, the link and the URL that will be posted immediately after this presentation or you can go to www.nbyl-livegreen.com which is my website. Um, but I encourage you to also go to the link that I'm providing with this class so that you can get some fun recipes and tips on how to use your oil so you just hit the ground running as soon as your kit arrives. So have a nice day.